Prediction number three. So sure. I'm going to th- throw in a, a few uh, not so positive predictions, but I feel like we're due. I've been with Flowtrack for eight years now. I've seen the rise and not the fall, but I've seen the cycle of elite athletes come and go into the sport where, where you are the guy or you are the girl. And then all of a sudden it's over. Like you just don't have it anymore and you're out of the sport. You get injured the next year and then you're done. Right? Like people don't stay great forever. There's an end point to greatness. Mm -hmm. Right. And sometimes you're not expecting it. You think like, Oh no, like how dare you, you better get this person or you you keep betting against this person and then they always prove you wrong right there was a person who people would always bet against and then you always were proven wrong and that person was leo manzano right mm-hmm. everyone thought this is the last year for leo he's not going to do it it's over but then he did it he would make another team and they're like, oh, no no this time it's the last year and then he would make another team and he kept doing it until eventually it was actually his last year I'm going to say it. I think Matt Sentowitz does not make the 1,500-meter team in 2022. That is my bold prediction. I think 2021 was his last year of making a world championship team. I could see him finding a way to get into the 5K maybe, or dare even say the 10K. Probably more likely the 5K, but I think... I th- more 5K. I think with the rise of Hawker, Hawker's not going anywhere. I think someone like Hobbs Kessler now has a year of experience under his belt. He's coming into the mix. Obviously, you still have Yair Nagus who made the team. Craig Engels is still fighting, fighting for that spot who's like five years younger maybe than Centro. I just think that age and career tra- trajectory, I think this might be the year where he gets fourth similar to how where Leo got fourth in the 20 was it 2016 trials mm-hmm. and then after that it was done i could see this being his last he's still going to be good like he's still going to make the final he's still going to be able to be top 3 but i think he comes up and gets fourth and then th- that starts like kind of the end of the run I hear what you're saying about the cycle of an athlete, but when I watched Centro and Eugene last year at the trials, that didn't look like a guy who was hanging on for dear life. I think he's got another run left in him. It wasn't as if he squeaked onto the team. He was battling Hawker for the win. He was closer to winning that race than being left off the team in fourth because there was basically two races that developed, right? The race for the win and then the race for the final spot. Now, the Olympics did not go well for him, but in terms of, and it's obviously going to be tough to compete with Chariot and Ingebrigtsen, et cetera, et cetera. But just to make the team, I think he can do it. If we were going into an off year, if 2022 was a non-championship year, and then we were doing the, and he just had a ho-hum season and didn't run that much, and then we were going into 23, and we're thinking, okay, what is, what does Central have left? I think I would, buy more of this but we just i mean the 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 u.s championships are in june right like he doesn't need to hang on for that much longer and i think he's going to be motivated by the fact he barely lost to hawker he's going to like racing at home just as we talked about the other oregon athletes they're going to be pumped to race at home i think this is close enough to to tokyo that that disappointment is going to fuel them and i think we're going to get at least one more central run and you, might, you may very well be correct. Again, I'm not saying he is washed and it's over, like he's going to like fail to make a U.S. final. I think he will be making the U.S. final. I think he'll be in it with 200 meters to go. I just feel like this is the, day, this is the year he gets fourth. Now, if you can get fourth at a U.S. championship, you easily can get second. Right. At the, yeah. the margin yeah. of victory for 1,500 meter runners between fourth and second, a lot of times it's like luck or just that extra half a second here or there. So I'm just going on the bold prediction. I'm going to go bold yeah. and say he finishes on the fourth side as opposed to on the second side. 
it is bold. He's you're right. It's bold. Anytime you're picking somebody to miss a team after making them since 2011, yeah, that's that's bold. That's bold. It is. So bold. I will. I will. I will give you that. All right. 